Hey everyone, so on um, this, there's brand new pictures revealed for the Ninjago Samurai XK set. It looks amazing, and I'll post the link in the description where you can actually go and find and view these images. Uh, it is a confidential um, set image, so um, yeah, I'll just post the link to the description. But I will be going over the image and explaining it and, you know, thinking of my thoughts on it. But, um, you know, you guys can go view it. Um, and then you'll know what I'm actually explaining and you know uh, thinking about here. But the Samurai X Cave, um, they're finally making a set for it um, based on Nia's, um, of course, Nia's Samurai X Cave, sort of, from the show. And here's just a picture of it from the Tournament Development season. On the we've had many sightings of it already. But um, the set it has tons of different things. Um, you know, it, it's just it's such a to get this big structure design, um, it kind of makes it look like it, you know, there's a top to it, you know, like it's outside, um, kind of. And then, you know, below you can see, um, you, it's got like the entrance part, you know, like this, the bones and the skeletons are on the top. Well, it's got the main door entrance, and it's got tons of little vehicles and all that stuff for Nia's Samurai X Cave. Um, of course, Nia's in it, but in her ninja outfit, the new ninja outfit, um, you know, the, not her Skybound one. But, um, it's like a blue and red one again. It, the color variation kind of looks similar to her Deep Stone one. But, um, except now it's the um, Summer 2016 one, like the other ninjas we've seen. But she's finally gonna, she's actually going to get it in this set. So she will get her new set there. Um, but this set has lots of different things. You know, it's got um, a great variation of figures from um it looks like a newly designed sensei wu of the old version you know like the old version that sensei wu always wore and it looks like a newer designed one that we saw in like a video i actually just saw in like a video on the lego website you know some like um, animation stop motion thing or something like that they they that they put up but it looks very cool you know i really like the older sensei wu outfit it always looked cool um just recently they started to change it up and stuff you know in the show but um, we also get the new Nia. Um, we get a we get the new Lloyd. So it's a new Lloyd outfit. I think that's also in the Sonic Sonic Raider, the or Sonic Stealth Raider. Now it's the second. It's like it, it's like a redesign um, Ultra Sonic Raider. Um, we get a J figure, and it's like his new one. That's like the older type of version one. You know, he's got the silver arm and all that. Um, you know, a sleeve on there, and then he's got his rebooted mask again. And he's got his hair piece, so um, it's you know they've got lots of weird variations and versions of the ninja in this wave. Um, and then the the enemies in this set are all old, all old villains. And we get one normal, ordinary stone warrior. Yes, those are coming back. Um, we get General Cryptor, who is coming back again. Um, and then we get Pythor. Yes, and he looks like he's in his outfit that's similar to what he wore when he brought in when he got brought back in Ninjago Rebooted when he came back. So it's very cool to see that too because I really really like that outfit. Um, but we do get that outfit on his body printing, so it's not really his normal snake printing still, but um, the cool outfit for Pythor. And then we do get General Kozu in his newly designed form as well. Um, and his version looks really really cool as well. Cannot wait to get his version, um, but the last time we got General Kozu, of course, was when the Stone Warrior Wave was released, which was years ago, um, during the final battle sets and all that stuff. So, the set looks very cool. Um, General Crypto's got his new weapon and all that. You know, Pythor's also got his new, newly designed and colored um, green snake staff. You know, it's a like green, it's like a limeish green looking color. It's very weird, but. Um, and yeah, you got tons of these little builds right on the top again, as I said, you know, you got kind of got some sore looking things on the top there, but it looks more like the sand on the top, you know, like at the above ground there. And then below you can, you know, in the set, it's got all these different, I can't really tell what the picture I'm looking at, but in this, you can also see like a, um, you know, Nia's Samurai X suit is in there. You know, you can put her suit on as well, or at least part of her suit that's kind of um, put on display there in it, because it's the Samurai X cave. So. Um, she's got her Samurai X suit there on display. You can kind of put some of her items on if you want to, though she's got the ninja suit on. Um, it looks like they kind of got a main center area and all that stuff too. But um, altogether though, it looks like a very, very cool build. Um, I don't know if I'll get it, um, especially because the price, you know, the price is probably going to be really high. 
Um, and again, it does look like a really big set. So if you're not able to like fit bigger sets in this box, maybe you don't want to get this. Um, again, you may just want to like buy minifigures online or just kind of pass this set, but it still looks amazing, guys. I mean, I'm not saying pass it because it looks bad. It looks great. It looks like a really, really great set, but you know, it's a really big set too. So if you're one who actually does collect bigger sets too and all that stuff, you know, then I would recommend it. It's a very, very good looking set. It looks really, really great. And, um, yeah, I mean, it, it just looks, it just looks great. Okay. And this whole wave, this whole summer wave that's coming, it just looks really, really good. And, um, the, the figure variation, in this whole set is just amazing too. And, um, you know, there's also another big set in the wave coming, which is the Sonic Stealth Raider 2.0 or something like that. Um, that also has a good variation of figures like Master Chen, you know, I think it's Izor in there with his leg, with legs. Um, for the Anaconda, I figure there. Um, you know, you got Sensei Yang. I think you got all the four ninja again, the four original ninja uh, figures. Oh yeah, so Lloyd, I don't exactly, I do know that his, I don't know where else, if his new suit is in any other set, but I do know it's the Samurai X Cave, his figures in there, but all the original four in, I think so, in the Stealth Raider, but, um, you know, that's the other big set in the wave, so... Um, there's quite a few big sets in the wave, and there's also kind of some sets in this wave that are coming that are a continuation of Skybound, so they're adding a few more sets in there based on Skybound, which is, you know, like the Lighthouse one, the Lloyd's Dragon one, the Cryptarium Escape one, you know, they got, they got quite a few in there that are still based off Skybound, but then they also got some of the new ones as well, so it's very cool stuff, um, cannot wait to get this next wave coming out, um, again, there's, you know, this like quite a few bigger sets in this but you know looks like a very very big wave um for figures and stuff too like crazy amount of different types of figures in this coming wave so what do you guys think about it if you go on if you go and view it what do you guys think about it um but i think it's a really 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 cool looking set um but yet again all the sets basically in the whole wave look really really cool so what do you guys think about it